اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم One of the assumptions for correlation analysis is that your variables are normally distributed. However, let's say we want to run correlation analysis but our data is not normally distributed. In such situation, you can do bootstrapping. So go to analyze, go correlate and then select bivariate. Let's say I'm interested in assessing the correlation between vision, development and organizational performance. However, my issue is that my variables are not normally distributed. Now I'm going to use one tailed here. You can use two tailed, but let's say I know the possible direction of relationship between vision development and organizational performance based on my literature review. Let's go to bootstrap. And if you want to perform bootstrapping, normally the recommended is 5,000 to 10,000. I'm just going to use 5,000 confidence interval bias corrected accelerated to get more stable solution now let's press continue i want to flag the significant correlations i just want the lower triangle estimate confidence interval of bivariate correlation parameter so you can have the confidence interval for each one of them press continue press ok now here are your bootstrap specifications simple Number of samples 5000, confidence interval 95, confidence interval type bias corrected and accelerated. Now it may take some time because we've got 5000 bootstrap samples. Now here are our results. The correlation analysis, obviously vision and vision, there won't be any correlation because the two are the same. Development and vision, the correlation is 6.631 which is you can say moderate correlation. The significance is highly significant. This is your sample size. The next one is the bias, very low. Standard error, quite low. So we are 95% confident that the correlation between development and vision will range between 0.541 and 0 0.708. So the correlation between OP and vision organizational performance and development. Now all correlations are moderate to strong and significant. Now here are your confidence intervals, the lower and upper bound confidence interval. Here is your Pearson correlation, the significance one tailed. So this is how you can run bootstrapping for correlation analysis or bivariate correlation. And these are the results that you are going to get. You can simply copy these results into Word document and report it. Thank you very much.